Hey there, today we're trying our hand at making Dutch oven jambalaya. We're gonna see if we can do it. I've got some charcoal heating up. And yeah, if you uh, are excited, hit the like button for us. Okay, so my embers are red hot. I'm gonna dump them out and arrange them for my Dutch oven. You gotta be careful when you do this. They really throw sparks. What you want to do is you want to put down a layer for the bottom, but you don't want to burn the things on the bottom, so you want to pull some out, and you can uh, feed them into it later to, to, keep the, to keep the heat going so that it doesn't like burn out later, but also um, you can save some to put on top of the Dutch oven if you're using, using the top. We're going to heat it up with a little bit of olive oil. basically just trying to coat the bottom. Good enough. I'm just gonna let that heat up for about a minute and then I'm gonna start adding ingredients. Okay, I put the lid on here to help it heat up a bit and it's nice and steamy now so we're gonna get ready to put our ingredients in here. And the first thing I'm gonna add is um, some smoked sausage. It's just one of those uh, like long sausage lengths you can, ooh that's a nice sizzle. It's like one of those sausage links you can get at the grocery store. Um, I think it's 14 ounces or so. And so now I'm gonna kind of cook this up a little bit for like a minute or two until it kind of crisps it up a bit and then I'm gonna add some veggies. If you're wondering what uh, recipe I'm following, I, I kind of am using or adapting, um, make, I'm using but making a few changes to uh, a recipe from 50 campfires um, and so I'm going to put a link to their recipe down in the description and most of what I'm doing here is coming from that recipe so you can go and check it out in the description. Oh wow, it's crisping up pretty fast. Might have made my fire a tiny bit too hot, huh? Well, we may as well add the other stuff. Making fast progress. Okay, what I have here is I've got some uh, onions, red bell pepper, green pepper, green bell pepper, and then I've got celery. Um, and so the exact measurements of how much of each of these, again, is gonna be in the recipe in the description, so you can check that out if you wanna try this yourself. And then we're just gonna kinda saute all of this in the bottom of our Dutch oven. Okay, and you kinda wanna cook this until the veggies start to get kinda translucent. Uh, just like you would for a normal like stir fry or something like that. And uh, this would also be the time where you add all of your seasoning. So this is jambalaya, so you might want to add some Cajun seasoning. Um, we don't have any Cajun seasoning on hand, and we're just going to use uh, a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. Um, you probably don't need a ton of either of these because the sausage already has some spices and some salt in it, um, but you can add some extra. Stirring this. Add my pepper. So you may be wondering why I'm stirring so kind of frequently and aggressively here and I probably have my coals a little bit too hot and so I'm doing extra stirring here to make sure nothing sticks and sticks to the bottom and burns. So I think I think I'm okay on the heat as long as I keep it moving, but uh, if you're tr planning to try this year out, I kind of filled up my, my chimney all the way to the top. Um, so I don't know exactly what I have here, but I probably have, uh, if I just hazard a guess, like 50 plus briquettes. Um, so that seems to be a bit much. So if you're counting this out, you might want to go with something lower. Um, so you can kind of ballpark it based on how much I put here. Maybe you go for like 30 briquettes. Um, but uh, my, the, thing, the thing that I always, uh, try to keep in mind too is I'd rather have too much heat than not enough because if you don't have enough briquettes out here then uh, you can run into a problem where you have to heat up another chimney stack full of briquettes and then you can kind of have like a weird break in between uh, your like starting and ending cooking 
And so personally, when I'm choosing how many briquettes to put in, I tend to kind of overdo it a little bit, uh, which can be bad if you burn it, but uh, if you kind of keep an eye on it, you can avoid that. And I prefer having a little bit too much heat to not enough. So that's the way I think about it. Um, you, you may think differently and you might be right, but <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Okay, so once your veggies start to get kind of translucent like this, I don't know if you can kind of see that, but um, then you can start adding your other ingredients. And uh, as I mentioned, there's a recipe link in the description, but uh, the first thing to add here is uh, some dry white rice. So you don't have to cook it in advance, you just add it in dry. So we're gonna add that. And then right after you add that rice, you add a can of uh, just diced tomatoes. Stir that in. Okay, now what we're gonna add is you got some uh, bay leaves here and also some uh, thyme. So some extra seasoning there. And then uh, we got some garlic, some minced or chopped up garlic here. And last but not least, we have chicken broth. Mmm, that looks good. Alright, stir everything in. Oh, that looks nice. Cool. And so now what you do here is you get this up to like a simmer. So we'll cook it and let it get up to a simmer again. And then you just cook it down basically for 20 minutes. So that's what we're going to do now. been simmering this for about uh, 20 minutes now and a little bit over 20 minutes actually and we ended up needing to add a, an extra cup and a half of water um, because our fire is burning hot and I think we needed more for the rice and so if you intend to follow this recipe then I would recommend actually adding the extra water up front or just adding a whole additional can of the diced tomatoes which might add a bit more flavor. So the last thing to do here is we're going to add uh, some shrimp. We got a, a bag of shrimp here, and so we're gonna stir this in, and uh, then we're gonna cook these shrimp for 10 minutes. All right, so we've cooked our shrimp for about 10 minutes here, and uh, you can tell like the, the shrimp starts kind of translucent, and then once you cook it, it turns kind of white. Um, so you, you hopefully you'll be able to tell um, once it's cooked. And so now all we need to do is we put some bay leaves in here. And so we just gotta find the, the bay leaves, like that one I just kinda picked up if you can see that. You gotta pull those out and then this is gonna be ready to eat. Once you remove this from the heat, you gotta let it sit for a few minutes and then you'll be ready. All right, this has been cooking jambalaya in a Dutch oven over the campfire and it's raining now so I'm gonna eat this food and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it all the more because I had to cook it in the rain. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video hit the like button for us and subscribe to our channel we post new videos like this one each week. Thanks for joining us guys we'll see you in the next one. Bye.